Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba, Father. Your enemy are learning a tough lesson. They will learn in a very hard way. They will learn in a very hard way. The Bible says in the book of Nehum, God do ye imagine against the Lord. He said, I will make an utter end. Affliction will not rise up the second time. Now hear the word of the Lord unto somebody. The affliction that they try to afflict you the second time, the affliction has backfired. They can't take it. <laughs> they can't take it. You know, this is a test of their own medicine. Anyone that refused to repent, anyone that have yielded their life to serve the devil, to glorify the kingdom of darkness, the affliction that they want to afflict on the children of God will definitely backfire. When the affliction backfire, it must rest somewhere, I say again. And the affliction must rest on the head of those that send their affliction. The Bible says, what do they imagine against God? Do they take God for a, a, for a joke? It said he will make an utter end. He will make an utter end, which is there will be an end to that affliction. There will be an end to that pain. But when they try to fire it again, it will backfire. Hallelujah. Someone is crying bitterly right now because the affliction that they plan for you, it is what they, are, they carry now. How can you just, I don't know, the Bible said that, you know, the book of Psalm. Ah, oh God, I love Psalm. The book of Psalm, the Bible said the wicked, they rage. Why do the wicked rage? Why do they carry out evil? They just use evil as, I don't know, they just see evil as something good. To them, evil cannot be good. Evil cannot be good. How can people be soaking evil? How can they be doing this? Ruin destinies, ruin children, ruin marriages. What is their benefit? Their benefit is to see the children of God suffer. But when God delivers us from that affliction, the affliction cannot return. That is why someone is crying because it is karma. Everything they planned for you have returned back to them. Because whatsoever a man sow, he reap. They plan, they sow affliction, they reap affliction. Since you did not sow affliction, you are sowing protection in the place of prayer. You are sowing preservation. You are sowing the good something. So you cannot reap affliction that you did not sow. There is a word in warfare when we pray that owners of evil load carry your load. You know, someone will say, where did the load? I should tell the load to go somewhere. Wherever the load wants to go to, it must rest somewhere. And evil does not do, it dwell in something. When you see somebody manifesting, when you are praying deliverance, you see somebody manifesting. It means that there is a spirit that dwell in that body. So whatever affliction cannot go and dwell inside the rock. It must dwell somewhere. It must dwell somewhere. And if it dwells inside a rock, it means that the rock automatically becomes evil. That can also fall and kill someone. So you need to understand these things. Hallelujah. Affliction will not rise up the second time in your life, child of God. They are crying bitterly now because they can't take a little of what you have been through. In that affliction, you were smiling. In that affliction, you were praying. In that affliction, you were fasting. But a little of it... That have backfire on them. They can't take it. I pray for you. The Lord shall make an utter end. To every affliction in your life. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelize. By the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye bye.